elect brakes electric brake controller for your caravans camper trailers Welcome to Phil's Camping Reviews. My name is Phil. Anything that's over 750 kilos, basically you need electric brake and a brake controller. And this, what I've got in my hand, is from an Australian owned company. When I purchased my Pajero, it's already set up for towing. And in fact, it's got an engineer certificate in there that now that that can tow, three ton with 250 kilos ball weight it's already came with a brake booster but i've never been happy with it it's one of those really old ones i think it might have even been fitted in back in 2007 and i don't know to me it just never seemed to work really well and then as we all do we browse around youtube and it's amazing, I don't know about you, but have you noticed just how many videos are out there of people losing their caravans and four drive due to that dreaded sway on the caravan? It is scary. In fact, recently, one of the zone caravans, I don't know if you've seen it on video, it tipped over and the owners of the van tipped it back up and continued on their trip. Isn't that incredible? Now, the videos I've been watching online is majority of the van, well, all of them, except for the zone, have all just disintegrated. It's just incredible. It's just nothing left. Just thousands and thousands of little pieces. It just literally explodes. And I thought, geez, that's scary. In two weeks time, Practical weighing, P R I no, what's it? P R A T T I C A L weighing are going to come here, and we are going to go through a full-on diagnostic on weights. We're going to weigh my Pajero. We're going to weigh this. We're going to see what the tow ball weight, etc. I'm going to film that, and I know a lot of you are going for the Red Arc Tow Pro. I was going to go with that. The quality, they're proven, they're excellent. I saw an ad one of these pop up one day. These electric brake controllers by Elec Brakes, based down in Lismore, New South Wales, made here in Australia. And when I saw this, I thought, yeah, I would love to have that. But they were a little bit exy. Lucky for me, we just had Easter sale, and guess what came up for sale? which put it into my budget down to my local store and purchased one of these elect brakes. I'm sure this is a question probably asking yourself, why did I end up going for this and not the Red Arc? Now mind you, the Red Arc Tow Pro Elite is also an Australian company. I know these are actually made in Australia because I've seen videos of these being built in the factory down in Lismore, New South Wales. So why did it go with these? Even though these cost more, you are saving quite substantially on funds by not having to get the professional installed. This can be mounted in 10 minutes. And when I do the install video, I will show you. You mount it anywhere on your ball bar, as long as it's flat or diagonally, straight up and down, not tilted. You mount it on there. You grab your adapter, in my case, the seven pin adapter, connect it together, grab your mobile phone. This is Bluetooth connectivity. And then via that, you set it up. I like that idea. One slight disadvantage, you will need to have your phone mounted in easy reach with that Bluetooth app on, if need be manually press a huge red button it's on the app and i'll show you that when we install it and set it up and you press that to activate the rear brakes in an emergency or if you want particularly in this case because 
it is so customizable that's another thing number two that i love about this you can customize the settings highway driving when you're empty highway driving on a full load four driving when you're on a low weight four driving when you're heavy up to five programs you can set so you can preset those settings before you leave home on your holidays and when you're changing different driving conditions, you just press a button, that's it. But then that means you've got to have your phone with that app on at the time. That's where this comes in. They've got optional remote. So now you've got a choice of both. You could either use your phone or you could use this. Now I'll be using this, obviously I'm gonna use the phone to set it up. So it's USB powered to the car and as soon as you turn the car on, this will then connect to your electric brakes. Now, you might be wondering, but Phil, Bluetooth is not a very stable to rely on something so important. The beauty with these electronic brake controllers is it does not rely on Bluetooth to work. This will work without your Bluetooth remote or phone. So if by any chance you lose connection, this will still work. The Bluetooth phone or the remote is only there as a guide to see what your brakes are doing and to see the control. And by Australian laws, when it comes to your electronic brakes, the law is you have to have a some way to control within easy reach your electronic brakes. For example, your brake override. That must be within easy reach. That is the law. Now I'm saying that, be honest guys, Bluetooth, I doubt I'm ever gonna have any problems where these will disconnect, particularly with these latest iPhones, etc. Another thing I like about this is that this installs on the trailer. Really good for a lot of you folks out there and even though this is going to cost more money, in this example I'm going to explain to you, it's going to save you money. How is that? You might be asking yourself, how is that possible that this, roughly costing twice the amount of something similar, that's also made in Australia that I mentioned earlier on, how is this going to save you money? So remember, I mentioned this here gets mounted to your trailer. It does not get mounted to your car. You do not need to have a brake controller mounted to your car. For you out there that's got more than one tow bear vehicle, for example, you could be a hire company, you're gonna save a lot of money. Your customers that's gonna turn up in their four drives will not need a brake booster because it's all in here. All you need to do, supply them for remote control, or set it up on their phone. This will be set up to the caravan, not the cars. And once it's tuned up there, it doesn't need to be changed. As long as you've got a decent rated four drive that can tow the weight, and you've got a decent tow ball, you don't need a brake booster. This is already set. Set the app on the phone, or just whack that on their dash somewhere. You need to manually set the brakes, the override. You just basically just press that button there. One more thing, these are updatable. Elec brakes are actually designing a new firmware. It doesn't matter whether you've got an older one, I believe, are all updatable. And guess what? Free. You don't pay. And guess what? You don't have to send it away to the manufacturers to get the firmware update via your phone through Bluetooth. It'll have an anti-sway feature. You want to try to eliminate that as much as possible. 
and this will go a long way to that. Till next time, eh? Look out for an upcoming video on me installing this on my camper trailer. So, like always, be kind everyone, and please comment down below. Have you seen these before? Are you using one? I'd love to know your experience. Please comment in the section down below and let me know what you think of these. I'm really curious to know. So, because honestly, there's not that many YouTubers videos out there on these systems. I think they're brilliant. I have an idea on what the app looks like there. You have a look at the box before we close. Okay, Elect Brakes EB2, install in under 10 minutes, and I believe that. Now, they do have an EV1 version where it does get connected, uh, where you do install it on the car, like the conventional ones. So if you've got more than one caravan and one tow vehicle, then you get the EV1 or EV2, whatever it's called. I think it's the EV1 which mounts to your vehicle. So they do cover those scenarios as well. Again, saving you money. So there you go, guys. Check them out. Because I certainly have. I'm very confident in this, that I'm going to install it on my trailer. And in fact, I think I'm going to get right onto it now. So guys, till next time, look after yourself. Cheers.